Now usually I'm the sweet Dr. Nina, beautiful brown baby doll that you all know and love. But sometimes when that time of the month hits, especially when them cramps come calling, your girl turns into a Demogorgon. <laughs> But don't worry, I turn right back into my sweet self when I'm proactive and intentional with my period and self-care. Now I realize that I've done all these period care and vagina care videos, but I have failed to actually tell you guys the story of how I started my period. So let's take a walk down memory lane. So when I was young, I was considered a late bloomer when it came to my period. I thought I had really beat the demon. I used to have the pleasure of sleeping in my room and my mama's room because it was only us in the house at that time. And then in one cold day in October, one month after I had turned 13 years old, the red source of life came through dripping, drip, drip. When I got home from school, all the items I had in my mother's room had been packed up and shipped permanently into my bedroom because my mother said I was a woman now. I was devastated. The end. That is how it happened, but at the same time, we were really kind of thrown off because my period was so heavy, like overflow heavy. I guess it was making up all those late years of not being around. As I got older, I battled with weight fluctuations. As you know, I gained a lot of weight, especially when I went off to college and I continued to gain weight, and I found myself 100 pounds heavier and with those weight fluctuations my period became a little bit more irregular and when it was on it was on for like two weeks and I would flow super heavy my doctor at the time shout out to dr. Joyce Johnson in st. Louis made the recommendation of birth control to help with the PMS later on as I started to change and shift the way that I was eating changing my activity levels losing weight also getting on birth control more specifically the Nuva ring I noticed that my periods became lighter and shorter in length and my period it is pretty much down to a science. But besides all of that, just like most of us, I needed something more. And that involves some real self-care. So today I'm gonna share some things that I've used throughout the year that I found that worked. One size does not fit all, so everything I use is not gonna help everybody, but you definitely need to get more aware of your body and figure out those things that might work best for you. So today we are talking period care, vagina care, a little bit of skin care, acne and hormonal breakout talk, exercise, what to eat and what not to eat when it comes to your period, and more. If you having issues with your period, it's irregular, you having difficulties, do like I did. Get your butt right on to the doctor. If I have any problems down there because that is my center of life, then I'm going to go to the doctor. Y'all, let's get this discussion live. Share some of your period hacks with me down below. Also, let me know some of the things you'll use from some of my suggestions. All items that I discussed today can be found down below in the information section. Y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. So since a lot of people like to discuss the things they actually put on their body, let's start there first. Make sure that you choose period care items that are transparent and disclose their ingredients. Y'all know one of my favorite companies I've shared with you for several videos is Lola. I'm so happy to be partnering with them for today's video. Plain and simple and hands down, I love Lola for their convenience and their honesty. They deliver right to my door with a well-designed, discreet box. And it's personalized and has the right variety for my specific needs. And things like their 100% organic cotton and BPA-free tampon applicators leaves me worry-free about what I'm putting in my body. Now, why is that important? Did you know that the FDA does not require brands to put out a comprehensive list of all the ingredients found in their feminine care products. But Lola offers complete transparency in all the ingredients found in their pads, tampons, liners, and wipes. The cool part is their subscription is fully customizable. You can choose your mix of products, the type of absorbency, the number of boxes, and the frequency of deliveries. You can even change, skip, or cancel your subscription at any time. For 40% off all subscriptions at Lola, visit www.mylola.com and use the code Dr. Nina when you subscribe. Outside of making sure that those items are straight, you'll feel better about yourself overall if you stay clean and sanitary. Now it's about to get real, y'all. One thing that I try to do is keep up with my daily grooming habits 
no matter what. So even if I'm on my period, if I'm feeling like crawling up in a ball or not being bothered, I still make myself get up and shower or take a bath. Of course, you guys know that I go through my shower care routine. I've linked them down below how I wash myself thoroughly. And there's a method to the madness. I love using things like Castile soap, black soap. They leave me feeling clean without feeling stripped. Also around that time of the month, since they leave me feeling clean, I feel better about myself. I feel lighter. I feel like I'm literally continuing the cleansing process of my body. And y'all know I'm all about removing that pubic hair because especially around that time of the month, pubic hair can grab a hold of that period blood and can literally hold on to odors and smells. Even if you shower twice a day, during that time you're not standing in a shower the whole day. So once the period blood gets down there, it has more places to dry and settle. And as we know, because I taught y'all in my body odor video, if you ain't seen it, you better go watch it. That when bacteria has the chance to sit, especially among hair, and it hits sweat and other things that combine on your body chemistry, you can experience a lot of odor. And personally, I don't choose to wax down there because it doesn't go well with my skin or body chemistry. If you want to know more about how I shave down there, check out my shaving care video. Even if I don't want to shave everything down baby ball, I do take time to trim the hair down, especially around that time of the month so that that period blood doesn't have the chance to pull in the hair down there. And you all know that I tell you in order to avoid irritation, I use lavender oil and aloe vera gel. I really love the way that that scent leaves my body down there. Of course, on the inner parts of your thighs and never inside of the vagina. It gives me a nice cool feeling and also a more natural scent. So if you're looking for cost effective things that you can use down there to keep yourself nice trimmed and groomed, make sure you check out my videos where I go to Walmart and even Dollar Tree to find items that really work for feminine care. Besides keeping my body clean, I also make sure that I wash my clothes regularly, especially on my period. Sometimes in order to rid my laundry of that odor and any stains, I add in a half a cup of baking soda aside from my laundry detergent in order to boost it and get rid of all of that. I sleep protected with overnight pads or cloth pads in order to avoid accidents in my sleep. And when I get up, I clean my space and check that bed to make sure no leaks have occurred so that there's no staining to my sheet. I also love to take changing pads and wipes with me in my purse because I can't walk around in the same pad all day. And for those of y'all that are doing it, I know your butt is itching. I know something is itching and burning and having some issues down there. You can't walk around with the same pad and the same tampon all day. You'll get toxic shock syndrome and other infections. You need to watch that. And you all know I work out first thing in the morning. And the first thing I do before I go to work out is change my pad or my tampon and make sure that I'm good and fresh because the worst thing you can do is go to the gym start working out and realize you smell yourself make yourself feel better don't go there with a soiled pad or tampon and though I don't wear the chicest of underwear around that time of the month I still wear control top underwear that make it easy to keep pads and also tampons in place they're gonna be nice and breathable underwear nine times out of ten cop if I mess up my pants or if I had an accident even in the past I will go ahead and wash that or take it somewhere and get it clean you don't want to let that sit you don't want to let it stay the last thing we need is a massacre reminder. I know I'm beating a dead horse with this one, but I go see the doctor at least once a year to get a pap smear, to get all my STI and STD exams, because I don't wanna be out here bad. Having a disease or another issue can make your period 10 times worse. As if sometimes, for some people, it isn't bad enough. Now I know that precious lamb can be upset around that time of the month, but you definitely wanna make sure you're giving some attention to your face. Click like if you can relate to hormonal or acne breakouts around that time of the month. Hormonal breakouts around that time of the month I've already told y'all can be frequent for me and when my face goes ham so do I you can reduce your stress by giving your skin a little bit of extra attention try clarifying mask that contains anti-acne ingredients some of the major keys are benzoyl peroxide or even tea tree oil or items that contain those things in order to keep the skin clear and sometimes my period just proves to be warm on my face and around those times of the month I keep specific ingredients around I love to drink green tea around that time because it has anti inflammatory properties which are going to keep down the things that cause acne and y'all know I love tea tree oil because it cuts down on inflammation that causes acne some people can use it straight I like to dilute it with a carrier oil like coconut oil or olive oil topical retinoids are also noted to work these are treatments that go directly onto the body that fight the acne from the outside in you can get these over the counter or you can ask a dermatologist to prescribe you one you can also simply relax around that time I seem overly anxious or overly annoyed and your hormones are running wild during that time. 
And when your stress levels are high, something goes high in your body called cortisol, which can cause other issues with hormones in your body, which of course are gonna end up showing up on your face, your tummy gets bloated because those cortisol levels are out of whack. Now the first day of my period, my cramps be like, a heating pad or a heating water bottle have been my best friends. Y'all know I'm always ranting and raving about my heating pad because it has been so amazing for me. I literally use it everywhere from my back to my stomach to my legs, everywhere where I get achy. And because in the past I would often get hydrogenated superativa flares before my period, I also learned that it was good to use that heating pad because it's a dry source of heat. Or if you're like me, you might just take some essential oil mixtures, which I've shown you guys a million and one mixtures. I just rub that on my body, especially when it's really fragrant and it smells good and it has those deeper scents like lavenders and tea trees and peppermints. It really relaxes you and it relaxes those muscles that are contracting and causing cramps. Specific oils I really love for the job are ylang ylang, peppermint oil, and lavender. These could help with reducing stress and also cramps. This is the reason why I love making these oils because they work so good for almost everything and a lot of the issues that I encounter. Now exercise is great. Y'all know your girl exercise almost every day. However, when I'm on my period, it's one of the last things I wanna do. But you wanna swipe out that cardio and get yourself something slow burning. Light exercise during that time of the month is key. And for most people, if you don't find it enjoyable, even during that time of the month, you're gonna find excuses not to go work out. So treat yourself to some light work. Exercise can help to boost your mood. I truly feel like less of a killer after I get that light workout in. <laughs> exercise also improves blood circulation. This helps to alleviate menstrual cramps. If I'm having light cramps and I literally work out even at a lighter pace or just a walk or just a light jog or even sometimes on the elliptical or the stair climber, just at a slow pace, I find that that rumbling and grumbling in my belly, where them cramps are revving up, it tends to go away. But as my period dies down, I like to rev it back up, get in some HIIT or high intensity workouts, maybe a little bit of yoga, and any other workout because it helps me be bloating, fatigue, mood changes, cramps, and a lot of other stuff in between. I always wanna feed my face, but it seems like around that time, I definitely wanna feed my face. You wanna beef up the proteins, healthy fats, low glycemic vegetables, and even cacao, and a lot of water. Water should be a no-brainer. When your body is letting go of fluids at any time, be it sweating or your period, you need to be drinking loads of water because it cuts down on swelling and bloating. Also, it just makes you feel better to flush out your system. For me, I aim for a gallon a day anyway, but take your time. Work your way up and just drink as much water as possible. Don't allow yourself to get thirsty, especially when it comes to that time of the month. I also lower my coffee intake and have more things like chamomile or green tea. Warm lemon water with a little bit of ginger actually helps with blood flow, circulation, and estrogen metabolism. And that seems to soothe and calm me as well. You need to be focusing on nutrient-rich food. Just think about it. It's losing so much iron, so many nutrients, so much blood. So I try to make sure I double up on that protein and healthy fats. And then I make sure I have those low glycemic vegetables or those vegetables that break down slowly in the bloodstream and don't spike your blood sugar levels. And this helps the body benefit from fiber and antioxidants. Do y'all crave chocolate on your period? A lot of the cravings that we have during our periods are because estrogen, serotonin, and cortisol are all shifting within your body. I like to take cacao nibs or cacao powder and add just a little bit to my smoothies around that time of the month. This helps to up the magnesium levels. This could actually help to alleviate your cramps and also PMS symptoms overall, but not milk chocolate. I'm not talking about Russell Stover and everybody else in Walgreens. I'm talking about high level quality chocolate, more dark chocolate. As you lose blood, you're losing iron and you may be losing zinc. I find around this time, because of those levels lowering, I need things like seafood, nuts, and sometimes some whole grains. I even like soups around that time because it helps to soothe my body. I avoid foods like super sweet candy, salty snacks, spicy foods, and even alcohol. One trick of the trade that I've learned is diffusing all natural essential oils because it works as a mood booster. Though your uterus seems as explosive as a belly flop, oil diffusers work wonders. And y'all know I've shown oil diffusers in like 10 videos at least. I own like five of them, no lie. Some of the best oils you can get include sweet orange or even citrus oils. That increases feelings of happiness or even warmth. Rosemary, which helps to fight physical exhaustion. Lavender helps to relieve stress 
because it helps to calm. Jasmine helps to reduce stress, but also increases feelings of confidence and optimism. Lemon essential oil really helps to improve your concentration. And bergamot is said to produce happy feelings because it promotes good blood circulation. Getting some alone time in today's day and age is certainly not easy, but when you're on your period, you need to push pause sometimes. And you might not always get to completely pause just because you're on your period. I mean, it does come every month. But don't feel guilty for giving yourself a night or some time to just relax and be alone. I love to soak in a warm bath with some essential oils, watch a favorite movie or a favorite TV show, or even just read a book or listen to a podcast. But no matter what you choose, give yourself permission and don't feel bad because you do. So I hope today's video has been beneficial for you guys. I hope we getting those periods in order. I hope you'll comment down below and let me know some of the other video ideas you have for me. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace special thanks to jason bowie of trinity media solutions for co-producing and filming today's video his information can be found down below in the information section Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.